Hello family, welcome to another episode of our tutorial where we design this flyer for a gospel event. Without much ado, let's create let's create a, a new file with a width of 1080 pixels by a height of 1920 pixels at a full resolution of 300. Let's create a background. The color code you're using is 00B. 9 C2. Let's create a new layer for the headline. The fonts we're using is Gotham HTF Black with a tracking of minus 100. Let's duplicate the fonts. Let's increase the size of the font. Let's select both fonts and uh, left align them. I think I mistakenly duplicated the font. So let's select both fonts and align them to the left. Let's raise it up a bit. Let's refer to the actor designs for more guidance. Okay. I think we might need to reduce the this font yet again. Let's use the arrows on our keyboard to align them. Okay, perfect. Okay, we need a need to create another square here or rectangle if I may say let's zoom into our artwork let's increase the size a bit okay let's select it let's accept it select the rectangle and this font so that we can top align them. Perfect. Let's change the color of the rectangle. Uh, let's let's unhide. Let's give it a background color of the same. Okay. Okay, you might need to create this side so much. Let me zoom out. We change the fonts to let's look at the Amsterdam, that's the name of the font, Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Okay, let's change the color and also the tracking. Let's leave it at the default value of zero. Let's reduce the font size. Okay, let's align it where it should be. Okay, let's further reduce the font size. I think you need to resize the this side of it further so that we can make way for the year. Let's apply, apply a drop shadow to the font. Okay, so these are the values for the drop shadow. Let's duplicate this font. So that we can use it for the year. Let's change the font to Pepsi. I will add the link to the font so you can easily download them if you want to follow along with the tutorial. Let's change the color to white. 
let's reduce the size further let's duplicate it let's duplicate the font See, we can increase it a bit. I uh, sorry, let's zoom in, let's select the rectangle and uh, this width, let's align it to the top. Sorry, let's align it to the top so they are perfectly aligned. Let's align the months. Let's increase the size here. Perfect. So let's zoom out. So yeah, left at this side and also introducing the, the photo. So let's let's change the color of the font to white as we saw in the original design let's further reduce the size of the font let's further reduce it okay so let's rotate it using the angle to a perfect 90 degree so we're doing that let's put our hand on the shift key while I was doing it so that we can have a, a shift and a control so that we can have a perfect 90 degree angle so let's further reduce the size. Let's zoom in. Okay, perfect. Let's zoom out. Okay, so now let's introduce our photo. Let's flip it horizontally as we saw in the original design. Let's reduce the size further. Uh, let's increase it a bit. Okay, let's zoom in. Let's duplicate this font, uh, this text. So let's change it to tall. Let's increase the size. Let's accept it. Let's bring it to let's bring it forward. Let's reduce the font size a bit. Okay. Let's see if we can further enhance the font. Let's make the test a bit heavy by pressing this button. Okay. Oh no, it didn't work. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Let's un undo what we did earlier on. Uh, fine. Now let's align it exactly as we saw in the original design. Uh, I mean, it should come before the image or after the image. Yeah, like this. Let's see if we can introduce if I, if we can increase the size a bit. 
what we need to do is to align the image again yeah so let's refer to the original design let's see okay let's reduce the size of the image yeah let's see if we can yeah okay so now let's introduce the, the television where are you So let's introduce the television as you saw in the original design. Let's introduce the television. So let's move it above all the layers. Let's do this. Let's delete the Mario part of the television. This reminds me of our childhood days when we used to play Mario those games. So let's take out that part of the video of the TV. Let's see if we can use the selection tool. No, let's use the pen tool to make it things easier. The, 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 the pen tool to make it easier on our path. Take out that part neatly as we've done. Okay. I think we might need to correct something over here. I'm not happy with the side. Let's see if we can reduce the font of the the font size of the years 2020. Let's select both here and reduce the size a bit. So we can increase the size of the Let's right, let's see. Okay. Okay, I'm not happy with it now. Let's see if we can bring this one further down. Okay. Cool. So so we are not left at this part. Let's go back to our design. Let's see what we can do. Let's create a. See, let's try and uh, sanitize our layers a bit. So let's group this part. First of all, you need to double click it to change the background to a layer. Let's select both and group it and rename it as our background. Let's select all this part to. Let's let's zoom out so we can see our final design now. Let's see if we can. So now let's group this part. We'll rename select everything from the 22 to the last rectangle. Group it and rename it as our headline. Headline. Let's hide it and see. Okay, there's one more thing left. I think we need to introduce this part to it. Okay, so we have that as our headline. The TVC is at this as it is. Let's group this further. Okay, let's try and create something like a, a white background around the image. So let's duplicate this uh, image. Bring the duplicated layer back down. Let's apply a color overlay to it. Let's give it a white color overlay. Let's see if we can. Yeah. 
perfect Let's zoom in okay okay now let's group both layers and rename it as our photo let's bring it here a bit let's shift it down a bit okay now let's let's move the top part of the text up yeah so now let's zoom out sorry let's zoom out okay going back to our reference uh, design yeah left it this part of the image let's see if we can uh So we need to change the the color of the TV so that it takes the color of the headline. Let's do that by a, applying a hue saturation. Let's first of all let's uh, convert it to a smart object so that we don't lo lose the features of the original image. Let's apply a hue saturation to it. So let's try and play with the with the sliders. First of all, we only, only want to apply it to the, 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 the TV. So let's click this part. Let's clip max it to only affect the TV, but not all. So now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, fine. I think we're getting some something like of a reddish. So now let's in increase the, the saturation so that it pops. yeah i think this color looks like it yeah so we, we do have it yeah so it's fine so let's let's move on so now let's group everything and rename it as a our tv tv but okay let's create a rectangle below the tv so we can put the photo let's create creating the full square without a without a stroke a full square without a stroke so oh, oh what are we doing okay I made a mistake uh let's delete this part just be watchful when you are doing your design so that you don't mistakenly do something. So now let's create a new layer. Let's create a new layer in the TV group. Up there. Let's create our rectangle. Without a stroke. Okay, let's put it beneath the TV. Okay. So now let's introduce another photo. Okay. Let's reduce the size. And let's clip max it into the square. I can see part of our square showing at this side. So now let's create a brush. Let's max. Let's create a max so that we can use the brush to, to clean that part off. So we can clean that part off. Yeah. So we're done. Let's create another layer on top. Another layer on top. Let's create another layer on top. This time around, we use the rectangular marquee tool. Let's create another layer here. Let's see if we can uh, transform the size a bit. Uh, let's transform the size a bit. Okay, I think it went too far. Let's zoom in. 
uh, let's transform the size up to this let's transform the size a bit yeah you want to create something like of a of a blackberry I said blackberry a black uh, something like uh, how, what do you call it uh, what is the right way to use but you see what you see what I mean when I when I'm finally done uh, let's create a black this is the color of black alt backspace the fill that part I think you might need to move it up further yeah you might need to move it up further up further up further okay now let's create a brush let's let's add a max let's add a max layer to it now let's create a brush with a brush tool let's increase the size of the brush let's reduce it a bit let's see i think it went okay so now let's see yeah so this is what i meant what's the right someone can add the right whether i should use in the comment box okay let's zoom out see where we got into let's make reference to the actor design so we are now left to this part okay Let's select everything with, with the exception of the background. Let's move it up a bit so that we can have some space. Let's see if we can reduce it a bit. Okay, fine. I think it went too far. Let's see if we can uh, increase the size a bit. Okay. So now let's add the spectrum sound to it. Let's reduce the size a bit. Let's reduce the size. Yeah. I think you can reduce the size of the TV a bit. Yeah, move it up yeah let's move the spectrum up a bit okay so now let's create a rounded rectangle Let's zoom in to that path. So this is the color we're using. Uh, it's a blackish color. Let's let's see. We had a stroke. Definitely we had a stroke. So okay, it's fine. Let's create another one for. For the venue, okay. Let's zoom out. Uh, definitely is in this color, okay. Now let's let's duplicate both. Since we have two venues, okay. So let's duplicate one of the numbers for the years. Let's move it forward. Let's reduce the size a bit so it can fit perfectly into the box. Okay.
let's duplicate the text here let's change the color to white let's reduce the size let's bring it forward Let's change it to a medium. Let's reduce the size a bit. Let's move it up. Let's change it to venue. Venue. Let's reduce the size a bit further. Okay, let's make reference to okay so okay let's wait here okay Let's select both fonts and reduce the size a bit further. Okay. Let's duplicate one of the fonts. Text. Okay. Let's change the font face to black. Okay. That will be Deben. Increase the size a bit. Let's see. Let's zoom out. Let's select both venue and reduce the size further. Okay, let's change the font for venue to the color of the background. Let's see if we can increase the band further. Okay, cool. I think this part is uh, only about duplication. So let's see if we can finally wrap up. Cape Town and select both. Center. Okay. So finally, we are done with the design. Let's see if we can uh, group this part. Address. That will be the address. align them okay so we are done uh, thanks for staying with us throughout the tutorial and we hope that you learned a, a bunch from it subscribe 
like and comment so that the the youtube al algorithm will show it to like-minded people who like to le learn some design tips from this tutorial you know on this tutorial we'll spruce up our design by animating the flyer subscribe and hit the notification button to get notified Once again, thanks for staying with us. Bless you, family.